In this video today, I'm going to be showing you all how to install Windows XP Professional in UTM for M1 Mac. And all you're going to need for this video today is to download and install UTM for Mac on your Mac. You're going to need a copy of a Windows XP Professional ISO file. And you're going to need the Spice Guest tools, which are basically the drivers for the UTM machine. And I will have all three of these things linked down below. Once you've downloaded and installed UTM on your Mac, and you've downloaded both the Spice Guest tools and the Windows XP Professional ISO file, go ahead and open up UTM from your Applications folder. And then click on Create a New Virtual Machine. Then go ahead and give it a name. And then select the style as Operating System. Then you can give it an icon if you'd like. Then you go over to the System tab. Make sure the architecture is set to x86 underscore 64. And then for the system, look for the one that has the name Elias in it. And then it ends with dash 6.1 and then it has PC in parentheses. And then for the memory, just go ahead and give it about like maybe two or four gigs. But don't do anything over that because it might start to lag out your machine. Then click on show advanced settings and then uncheck UEFI boot, and then for the CPU, select default. Now go over to the Drives tab, press New Drive, make sure IDE is set for the interface, and then you can give it however many gigabytes you'd like, then press Create, and once again press New Drive, but this time check Removable, and leave the interface as IDE. Now go over to display, and for the emulated display card, select the Spice QXL GPU Primary VGA Compatible QXL-VGA driver. Then go over to network, just leave it as it is. Then go over to sound, check sound, and then leave it as the default one it's selected. Now press save. Select your machine you just created from the sidebar, and then go down to the CD slash DVD option, and then press Browse, and locate the Windows XP Professional ISO file you downloaded from my Google Drive, and open that, and now start up the virtual machine. And if you'd like to lock the mouse in the virtual machine, just click on this mouse button up in the top right, or you can click on Control and Option at the same time. And then to remove it, just once again press Control and Option, and now it's free to use like it was before. Press Enter, and on Mac, for, to press F8, you're just going to want to hold FN and then press F8. And then press Enter. Then go up to Format the Partition using the NTFS file system, and then make sure Quick is after it, and then press Enter. Now it's going to format your QCAD Chew Drive. Press next, go ahead and give a name, and now you're going to need a project key. And on the network page here, just select typical settings and press next, and then select no, next. And we should now be able to finish setting up Windows XP here. So just press OK on this prompt. Press OK again. Now 
And if you'd like, you can put it into full screen by just clicking the green button in the top of the virtual machine. And you can continue with the setup here. And you can just press no, remind me every few days. Then go ahead and type in a username or a few usernames for this computer if you'd like. All right, now that we've successfully installed Windows XP on our virtual machine, we can now go ahead and install the Spice Guest tools. And to do that, just go up to the top of the virtual machine once again. And then what you want to do is you want to go over the disk in the top right. And then where the Windows XP ISO file is, you're just going to want to click on Change. And now select the Spice Guest tools. And it should automatically open up the Spice Guest tools ISO file for you. But if it doesn't, just go up to the Start menu. Go over to my computer and then just click on the QEMU, um, removable storage. And all you have to do here is just double click on the Spice Guest tools. And this will go ahead and install our network drivers and our display drivers. Next, I agree. And while the Spice Guest tools are installing, you may receive a hardware installation prompt. Just press continue anyway. And if you see another pop-up about the software installation, just press continue again. And just keep pressing continue anyway. And press finish to complete the setup. Now what we can do is we can fix our display resolution. So just right click on the desktop, then go down to properties, then go to settings, and then set the screen resolution as the same one that your Mac is. So for me, I have an M1 Mac, which is 2560 by 1600. Then go over to the advanced tab. And then I would recommend changing the DPI setting to somewhere around like 150. This will just increase like the text size and the window size, making it easier to see. Just press apply. Then press yes. Press yes again. And then press apply. And go ahead and restart your computer. And the very last thing I would recommend doing is going down to the description once again and then go ahead and download the fourth link. And that fourth link will be an Opera ISO file. And currently the file sharing part of UTM, which allows you to share your files from your virtual machine back to your actual machine, isn't really working very well. So I'd recommend just installing a web browser and then getting all your files to that. So you can go ahead and use this Opera ISO file and it should allow you to mount it in the virtual machine, then you can just install Opera through that. So go ahead and download the ISO, then go back to the virtual machine, and then in the top of it, just go over to that disk in the right once again, and then change the Spice Guest Tools ISO to opera.iso, and then open it. Now go down to the Start menu, go to My Computer, and locate the drive in the devices with the removable storage, double click that, and then drag the Opera setup to your desktop. Now go ahead and double click on the Opera setup to open it. Click on accept and install. And they'll now go ahead and install the Opera browser for you. And this Opera version is an older one that is compatible with Windows XP. And it should go ahead and launch automatically for you. And now that we've installed Opera, you can just go ahead and eject the ISO file if you'd like, which can be done by once again going to the top of the virtual machine, clicking on that disk, and then just press eject. And there you go, you now have a solid way to get files in your virtual machine. And you're gonna kinda have to use this browser just for now, or you can choose another one if you'd like, but like I said earlier, like the, the file transfer between your machine and the virtual machine just isn't very stable right now. So you're just best off downloading files from the internet.
But yeah, that right there is how you install Windows XP in UTM for M1 Mac. Hopefully you guys found this helpful and I will have everything linked down below. And feel free to leave a comment if you have any issues at all.